In today's video, I am back with John Chosmer of John Chosmer Reptiles, and we are going to be checking out all the amazing babies that he has produced this past couple of years and what he's bringing to Tinley in the next coming week. So stick around. My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content. Getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. All right, John, so what do we got right here? First baby number one. This one looks really cool. This is a VPI IMG. Holy cow. So it's your, it's your caramel albino. I mean, albino is normally black and white or yellow and white. So with the IMG, it's darkening it up. On a regular call or sharp strain albino, the instead of being blacker, it would turn whiter. He's being very active today. Right. And I think that's what's great about boas in general is just that curiosity that they kind of bring to the table. Yeah, they're very alert. Oh, for sure. Holy cow, those eyes are stunning. The eyes are wicked. So now what would this in general look like as a adult? Yeah. I do have a, uh, an adult female. She's with a male, but I can pull her out and hold her. So in comparison, this is what an adult would look like. Yeah, this is an adult female, VPI, oh Carmel my Albano, IMG. And the camera is picking up that iridescence, but not like in person with what I'm seeing right now. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Holy cow. Yeah, the rainbow effect on them is amazing. They will get bigger, but this is adult size. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't, I mean, most of my females are average about this size, some a little bigger. Okay, something to look forward to as an adult versus also as a baby. I mean, you, we are trying to nowadays, like everyone's trying to sell babies before, but now we're all just striving for like, what's the adult going to look like? And right. we're looking at beautiful adults right here that are unlike anything else that you would ever see. I mean, the, the IMG, what my favorite thing is, a lot of people want that solid black snake, which yeah. is amazing, don't get me wrong, but with the IMG, just watching the transition, oh, and for watching sure. it change into that black snake is what makes it amazing. This is a hypo Aztec jungle, 100% head for anathrostic. Aztec and the jungle just together combined, giving the, the pattern, you know, the connection, the variances, it's, it's amazing. That is some beautiful reds on there. Now, will it keep that salmon-like color to it as yeah, an adult? Yeah, they, they will. And the, the fact that it's got the jungle will help keep it cleaner and brighter. Really? But even as an adult, it's going to keep that peachy salmon. So some will look, you know, a, a nice light peach and some of dark orange peachy color. Gorgeous. I love those saddles, too. This is a ghost jungle. So it's anathristic, hypo, and jungle. Jungles can have a little bit of aberrancy or a lot of aberrancy. And this, yeah. guy, and this guy has a lot of it. I would, I would say so, for sure. So this is a ghost Aztec jungle. We've seen the hypo Aztec jungle before. Yeah. This is with the anathristic built into it. Oh my god. So that anathristic, you know, takes out all the reds and gives you that uh, gray and co gray color. Like, you know, I'm a sucker for the dark side. I Heck love, yeah. the, I love the dark stuff. That's super cool. So now, how was your production this year? Is it pretty good? Or what? what this did you was miss? my best breeding year ever. Between the boas and the balls, I'm yeah. probably right around a thousand animals this year. I wow. I produced quite. Good for a you. That's awesome. So it's been a good year, and like I said, sales have been good. You know, you hear a lot of people talking about how sales are down. I mean, your sales are down some. For sure. You know, but overall, I mean, I've, I've got no complaints. You know, I mean, I got a lot of returning customers. You know, things are well and, you know, stuff's moving. Well, so. and the thing, too, is, is you have so much variety here that anyone can get a flavor of boa or snake in general. And, and, and that's my main thing is I'm not going to breed something because it's the hottest thing out there. Yep. I'm breeding it because what I like. I got, I've got more stuff that I don't show because yep. it's phenomenal and you know, people are like, why don't I sell that? And I'm like, nah, I've got a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't blame you at one bit. Ooh, getting a little darker here now. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. I like this a lot. What do we got here? So this is IMG Anathristic Jungle. So the IMG is just making that pop. And on the sides, too, on oh, the yeah. back of the tail and stuff. You know, it's just amazing. Wow. Now, this one here, you know, like, like the, some of the other, a regular IMG gets dark. And they look black, but the IMG with any other trait like the jungle or Aztec or a normal, you can still see the pattern through the IMG. Yeah. When you add Motley to it, which we'll, I'll bring out a Motley as well, but when you add Motley to it, Motley ends up turning solid black. Okay. This is an IMG Motley. Holy so God. when as an, as an adult, you won't see any of the spots. It'll wow. be solid black, and the iridescence will be phenomenal. And that just happens between every single shed cycle, like as this yeah. thing's developing and growing and stuff. So yep. the more the shed, the darker they get. That thing is incredible. And again, that iridescence that some of these just kind of show, incredible. So this is an IMG Aztec jungle that is double hit for VPI snow. Holy so that's cow. VPI, caramel albino, and type one anathrostic. 
And this is one of your favorites, you said? One of my favorites. I can see why, for sure. Mm -hmm. I really like the busier patterns with these guys. They're all just beautiful works of art, for sure. Yeah, the color, that, the head spear on that just looks like evil. I love it. So we always see your big setups at Tinley. How many snakes do you typically bring to a Tinley? Would you say on average? Not an exact number. There's no way to keep track of that. Probably over 100. Yeah. I mean, sometimes more. I'll, I'll be bringing a lot more this year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably have between... I'll probably have close to 200 of them with me this year. Okay. If not more, but yeah. at least 200 snakes with me this year. That's going to be super exciting. You guys definitely have to check out their booth for sure. So this is just a jungle. Okay. The jungle pops. I mean, to me, it looks more normal. Yeah. But the fact that this is a double head for RDR, Anri, and Prodigy Albino. And RDR is just a line? It's another line of uh, Amethystic. Yeah. It's, it's a Central American Anri that uh, Ralph Davis originally uh, is the one that founded it. Okay. Hence the name RDR, Ralph yeah. Davis Reptiles. Okay. So but yeah, just the fact that this is a double head animal, yeah. just the, the RDR changes the pattern on them dramatically. So this is a plain IMG. Okay. Visually. I'm trying to take off at your camera. Right. <laughs> oh, he's got an attitude. Oh, we got a little hiss here. Somebody's got a temper. Believe it or not, if you are a newer person to boas, they do hiss where it's like... I don't know, it's more like a cat, but that spicy attitude does not stick with them. I mean, yeah. as long as you're working with these guys and you're feeding them normally, I mean, these guys tone down a lot. I mean, again, you have to think these little babies right here are newer to the world, and they're just getting accustomed to working with us and being amongst us and handling and stuff like that. But, yeah, you figure when they, when they come out of that mom, everything is, everything else outside the mom is bigger than they are. So and they're trying to eat them. So, so yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's all that perspective. But that is gorgeous for sure. So yeah, just plain, I mean, this is a double hit. Yeah. But still, just regular IMG. And you see how much, how much darker it is than compared to a regular. And as it grows, this thing's going to become just another all black snake. All black snake. Really beautiful. So this is an IMG jungle. Wow. And again, we're back with the double heads. This is an RDR prodigy. You know, double head IMG jungle. So it's just, you know, the, the IMG makes it dark or helps change the pattern up. But the fact that this jungle is going to keep it more crisp, gives you the aberrancies. The IMG is blackening it up. And like I said, then you got that double head in there, RDR and the Prodigy Carmel Albino. Yeah, that's a beautiful head stamp on that too. Head stamp almost looks like a, like a medieval sword. So obviously we're talking about babies here and stuff and we're in the boa room right now. So like for someone that's newer to boas and stuff like that, as we're... They're kind of thinking about boas. What, what would you say, like, as someone that's been working with boas for years, like, as a newcomer into boas? What's I, your... I, I would recommend you definitely starting with a baby. Yeah. I mean, a boa is not a ball python. You yeah. Know, ball pythons, are, you know, not knocking ball pythons. I have them. Yeah. But I call them pet rocks. Boas are a much more active and a much more alert snake. Okay. So, you know, as a baby, as you've seen the one struck at us, yep. you know, it happens. You know, it's, it's, be it's better to enjoy it and be able to take a small bite from a baby animal than it would be to jump into an adult and get bit by an adult. For sure. Nobody enjoys getting bit, including myself. Yep. But it does happen, and it just you know lets you step up to it. You know, it's no different than getting you know being burnt by a small flame than jumping into a fire. You know? Right, it's, exactly. It's you get to learn your animal a little bit better yeah. and stuff like that, and you kind of get to learn that behavior pattern and right. stuff you, like you'll that. Learn, you, believe it or not, you can learn to read them. I mean, sometimes yep. they'll still surprise you. Sure. But you can still learn to read the animal. And what a it's lot better like. than what you would if you just, like you said, jump right into a fire. Correct. Yeah. Big time. Big For time. sure. So, yeah, definitely doing your research is critical for any animal that you're thinking of picking up. But for sure, like, boas are awesome, and they've been a staple for pets for years for years for, you know i mean since day one boas are my favorite by far absolutely by far this is just an anry jungle okay anathristic is lacking the red like we said before yep and then the jungle patterns giving you the uh, the more crispness and the more connecting patterns these are another favorite of mine i know a lot of people always ask if you have these or if someone has these they're becoming quite popular again yeah that for the longest time these guys didn't get the respect they were due yep so these dumero boas right here are just one of those things that are selling like hotcakes again and for good reason i mean they are just stunners showstoppers i'd yeah, say beautiful animal and the pinks on them is amazing they keep they keep the pattern and the color good as adults so this is a sun glow jungle okay so this is call line albino look at those eyes I, I can't get enough of it with the albinos just how their eyes just shine look at that you can see the pupil on there just gorgeous on these guys literally have a snake in every single flavor so what are these two right here so if i can get them to hold still yeah so these are litter mates. Okay. But if you notice this one here, it's it's hard to tell. She's going into shed, but she yeah. is much more pink and orange than her litter mate. I can see that actually. And what this is, this is a the type B gene, which not a lot of people work with. Um, I can give anybody a background on that, but short story, 
Jim Peters brought these in out of uh, or imported them in years ago. The Type B and the Type B just gives it a much redder color. Okay. And in a, in a, a litter of normals, you know, they stick out, but yeah. they, they're never super bright. Once they turn six, seven months old, the red starts to pop. Wow. And as adults, the orange is flaming if you have it. Oh, not, again, not all are the same, and I've kept back every amazing one I've ever had. So this is a Type B Sun Glow Motley Jungle. I mean, even, even with the Hypo, the Motley, and the Jungle, it makes it bright and helps keep the color. But that Type B, as you can see, the head is just bright orange, and the colors down the side, it just... The color, the Type B is just pumping. And it's got that color. speckling of like cream in it it's or a, something. Yeah, I mean, so the Type, as I said, not all Type Bs are created equal. I, I kept the best. So this is just a Sun Glow Jungle Type B. Wow. I mean, again, the color is phenomenal. The Jungle is going to keep it bright. The Hypo is going to keep it bright. Yeah. But that Type B just makes that orange, especially in the head, it just pops. Right. Now we're in room two of your awesome facility here, and we got a lot to go over still, guys. He's got a whole plethora of snakes. We're looking at boas right now, but we're going to get into ball pythons here in a second. So take a look at this boa right here. What do we got, John? So this is a VPI Sun Glow Motley. Wow. And that's just like losing like all its markings as it goes down. I really like that. And then the hue change like towards the base of the red tail right there. That's oh, yeah. so cool. Yeah. I mean, as I said before, I love the dark stuff, but I love the stripe stuff. Right. For sure. Uh, so the Motley's giving you the blotches. Yeah. You know, some Motley's have striped tails. Yeah. You know, but n normally not this long. Yeah. So, but the, uh, so the jungle is helping out with that. Ooh, this is like ghostly right here. What do we got here? So she's getting ready to go into shed. So she's oh, not as bright. makes sense a little bit. But, but this is a VP snow jungle so really? we've been talking about all the stuff that was over there in the other room they got it's double head for snow yep this is the visual snow so this is a visual vpi caramel albino and type 1 anry this is a vpi sun glow so it's just vpi caramel albino and hypo i love that mix of just that light skin body right there and then all the saddling is just real rustic like reds and stuff and tone that's kind of my vibe very cool for sure. Yeah, the caramel albino gives, so gives you that color. Yeah. Even though it is albino, and it, the tail just gets the deep orange, and the hypo just hypo helps enlighten or heighten that. I also appreciate, like, I love a boa's posture, like their stance and stuff like that, and how they make it. It's kind of look like it's doing the Morph Market logo right now. This is a hypo IMG. So IMG is making it darker, yeah. but Hypo is making it lighter. So they're just fighting each other. So the two are fighting each other. When you say that they fight each other and stuff like that, who normally wins in these cases it, more so? You know, it varies. It varies a lot. Yeah. I've, got, I've got some that are almost super dark, but you can still see the Hypo break through. Yeah. Then I've got some where it's just the, like just the top of the snake is dark and the sides of the tails are light, or the, side, the sides of the snake are light. And I've had it verse, a reverse where the sides are dark and the top is light. Even within a litter? Even within like a litter. That. It's nice when you got two genes that fight each other, but they yeah. still work together to make yeah. something that's great. That's really so It's cool. not washed out where you can't tell one of the genes is not there. Right. I like that boxy kind of saddle pattern design right on this guy. Yep. So the Motley's doing that. The Motley's giving the paddle and the, uh, the pattern and the square tail here. Yep. Um, obviously, if you, when you add hypo to it like we had in the sun glows, it's going to take away some of the side pattern and brighten everything up a little more. Okay. But that's even going to be cooler as an adult because those boxes oh, yeah. are going to get even larger on there. And it's it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of cool to see a snake with corners, yeah. <laughs> you know, to it in a sense. True. I mean, the VPIs in general hold their color very well as adults. Yeah, and just that motley influence is just something that's very cool. So everything we've seen so far is stuff that's been... 24s. 24s. Yeah, this year's babies. This some stuff from last year okay definitely got some more size to it so this is an img labyrinth and the labyrinth or the img works differently a little bit I, i've noticed it looked works a little differently with the uh, labyrinth yeah where instead of turning solid black it just hits the saddles really hard makes the saddles more crisp and dark it does get a little darkness to the body yeah but it doesn't give it that iridescent hue over the body like a plain img the labyrinth for some reason doesn't do it as much Okay, but you there. still kind of get that shine to yeah, it. Yeah, you I get mean. the shine, but it, for some, the ones I've got yeah. don't have that real rainbow effect like what, like a regular IMG or an so IMG. So they fight mod. each other on that a little, a little bit. bit. Okay, that's cool. But Labyrinth is probably one of my top boa jeans that I personally like. Yeah, every, I, almost everybody's working with it now, yeah. which is phenomenal. So this would be good for in comparison here. So yeah. let's take a look at these two. So you have the IMG IMG Labby here, yep. and then just the Labby over here. So yep. you can see how it, it darkens it up quite a bit. Oh, for sure. But yeah. it's not giving it that solid black look as you can see here this guy's almost two years old yep 
are it'll be two years old. These are, these are uh, 23 babies as well. Wow. But, I mean, even going into this, I mean, the motley, as you can tell, is helping keep that orange color in it. Yep. Where if it was a plain albino, it would start to fade a little more. It is fading, but the motley, like I said, motley, Key West, Hypo, those will all help keep the orange in the snake longer. Okay, so this is a sharp albino IMG. Wow. So if you look at those eyes, they just look... That's the, the IMGs what make, drew me in. Yeah, those eyes are evil love yep. I, I love it but as you can see the saddles are getting all that deep white around them yeah that's the img img is making the saddles whiter where in the regular with any say that's not albino would make them darker okay this is a key west motley so motley is given that the square pattern and this and this uh, striped tail yeah the key west does that a little the same the only thing, I mean, the pattern is more, it's hard to explain, but the Key West with the Motley will clean up the, pa the side patterns in your medallions, and then it also fades the mustache, so the Key West fades the mustache, but with the Motley, it helps bring the mustache back. Now, is this is kind of the first time that I'm hearing of the Key West. Can you kind of go a little bit more, like, is this something newer? No, Key West has been out for a while. Key West is an incomplete dominant trait, just like uh, Roswell Laddertail. Okay. Uh, some people were saying they're the same. It's hit and miss because there'll be people who've been bred and produced different things. Yeah. But the super version of this is a uh, solid striped snake. Okay. Like a, like a dual striped snake down the body. Interesting. Okay. I, I have, I've yet myself to produce a super stripe. Yeah. Or a super Key West. A bunch of my buddies, you know, Jeff and Tony have both produced them and they look phenomenal. Holy cow. So I definitely I, have to check them out. Stick with the Key West here. What do we got in with this one? So this is a Hypo Jungle Key West. I love jungle stuff. So as you, as you can tell by looking at it, it is Hypo. Yeah. It, it is jungle. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you see letter mates. It's more of a low expression. I don't know if the Key West is having a factor with that. But as again, the Key West will normally fade out the mustache, but the mm -hmm. jungle or motley usually brings it back. Huh. It's one of those things where, it, you know, if you, somebody looks at just this, they're going to go, that's ah, not Key West. But once you know the other character traits of it, it makes it, under, it, makes it pop and you understand it. Gotcha. You know, again, it's, you know, it cleans up the pattern on the side. You know, you see it next to a litter mate, which I've sold most litter mates. Yeah. So I don't have them really to compare to. Yeah. But, you know, if you look at it next to a normal hypo, you can see the difference. Yeah. So this is just a Key West. As you can tell, it has the ladder tail pattern, kind of like a, a Motley. It does have the connecting saddles, but it gives it the, all the differences on the side with screen Key West. Okay. And it does, if it'll hold still for me, you can see it does have the faded mustache. This is the Motley. Yep. You know, which has the chain link pattern down the side, a little bit of the square tail, same with the Key West. But you can see the way the pattern is different yep. going down the sides of them. And the Motley has the dark eyes, yep. and it has the dark mustache yep. compared to the Key West, the normal Key West that has no or very faded mustache. So not just the boas that you're dealing with here, we also have some ball pythons and you have this whole wall that's going here. So I'm really excited about these two. What do you got here? So this is a confusion. Okay. Which for the longest time, these were saying confusion, static, and acid are all uh, the same thing. Yep. But through GNA, uh, DNA testing with RGI, uh, Rare Genetic Inc., they say confusion and acid are not the same. Pretty sure what I have here is confusion. I have skin to, uh, sheds into them now to find out what I have. Okay. So, But this is a regular confusion. It right. is a double hit for albino pie. This is confusion piebald. <laughs> So as you can tell, it is piebald, it is low white, but you see the pattern is broke up so much differently yep. than, than it would be on a normal pie. This is an albino confusion. Yep. This is where I, I mean, obviously not this particular snake, but this is where I started my confusion project 13 years ago. Okay. Is I bought an albino confusion from a guy that he had labeled as just an albino. Really? And I worked with it and finally figured out what it was. By the time I figured it out, somebody else figured it out before me. Gotcha. So, and when you breed it to... This guy's going in a shed, yep. but this is the albino confusion pied. Okay. Uh, at first, I wasn't sure, but the confusions have a little, like, like you see that yellow on the top of the lip here? Yep. That little lip there? So that, that that's a trait of the confusion, and I wasn't sure about it on my on the pieds, but they have it as well. So this is an albino clown. Uh, a lot of other albinos, the color will fade a little bit as an adult, mm -hmm. but you can still see the clown pattern, the teardrops down the side, the yep. orange on the top. But what really makes these pop, and I made a few of these this year, is the black pastel albino clown. One of my favorites. So that orange just pops. Yep. I love anything with black pastel in it. But even as an adult, like I said, this here, the regular albino would be more fade and lose some of the white as they get older, where the black pastel will keep it as an adult. This is a pretty pattern animal. What do we got here? So believe it or not, this is just two genes. Yep. This is a Mojave blackhead. Yep. So Mojave's dark, blackhead is dark, 
and just the two of them together just make an awesome looking animal. That black head, I mean, is incredible. And that's a gene that's really coming to life yes. in recent times. You yes. know, a lot of people are really finding their uh, strides with this gene in a whole bunch of different combinations. And yeah. Mojave has been a staple for so many years. One of right. my personal favorites, at least. So cool to see. I mean, a lot of people think you need to pump in like all these genetics to have a really cool mm -hmm. animal. But the proof is in the pudding with this guy right here. Right. You do not have to do that. Yeah, something, something simple and sweet. It's amazing. Awesome. You know, too many things in there can, can make it look, you know, look more faded, which you wouldn't want. Beautiful. With just a couple of genes, a couple of good genes that make good definitions, make everything pop. Absolutely. So this is what I believe to be a firefly, calico, leopard, spot nose, clown. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of the firefly taking effect here. Yeah, the firefly. Sure head pattern. Yeah, the firefly is going to lighten the head a lot. Yep. You know, you can see the spot nose and the leopard throughout the the body, mm -hmm. uh, and then the calico. Even with the calico and, and, and clown, always lightens the tail. It almost gives like little blotches. Where you can see it almost looks like patterns missing. Wow. The calico is what does that in, in um, clown. Someone's going to get lucky with that one for sure. And so keeping with a couple base morphs. Yep. This is a hypo inchy chocolate. So the hypo is obviously lightening it up. The chocolate's giving it the dark contrast, mm -hmm. and then the inchy is giving you the reduced pattern when you take it sibling this one is a hypo super inchy chocolate whoa so you can see the inchy's given a much more reduced pattern but the yep. ch chocolate's keeping it nice nice and crisp yeah and the hypo is lightening it up with a goal one day to create something that's like super inchy super chocolate that's or? my that's in the it's, that's in the goal and i, was, I also want to add it in the clown project as well yeah that would be really cool for sure i mean like i said you know as i said before i love the dark stuff but the yeah. way even you know, the hypo lightens it up but i was still gonna say when you get dark. them fighting and stuff like that yeah. but they work so well together oh, for sure me personally i like this one and the way that it's kind of perfectly balanced but i mean you could do no wrong either way with these guys too agree i mean and they'll look amazing sure. as adults yeah for sure so this is an orange dream vanilla scream clown so it's orange dream vanilla pastel fire clown holy cow so what's doing all that influence with that white dorsal angle? that's the fire and the vanilla okay gotcha so vanilla is doing that like yeah that. your orange dream is gonna bring the yellows and the oranges higher up in there she's deep in shed go figure it happens yep. but this is a super pastel vanilla pinstripe that is 100 percent hit for clown Wow, and that's pretty, and that's huge that it's head for clown as well. By Tinley, this thing will probably be shed out, so oh, yeah. someone's going to see this. Couple, you got to definitely check out your booth and see this animal in person. So we showed you the Orange Dream Vanilla Scream Clown. This is the Orange Dream Vanilla Scream Pinstripe. And we just showed you this is the Vanilla Scream Orange Dream Pinstripe Clown, mm -hmm. where this one here is the Vanilla Scream Pinstripe Het clown. The het clowns still have the eye stripe, where yeah. the actual clowns don't have the eye stripes. Yeah. So this is my first year producing visual desert ghost stuff. Nice, congrats. So this one here is a super pastel, inchy desert ghost that is also double het for hypo and clown. I mean, I, I love the DG. I think it does amazing things. Yeah. And I'm going to say it on camera. I like hypo better. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. <laughs> I, and that's kind of, I think people kind of have one way or the other, but like whatever path you take, I mean, we all have our own preferences, but like this is, if you go on this route, you got a real cool animal right here. That's for sure. I mean, hypo and DG together are yep. phenomenal. Oh, for sure. But if I had to pick just one, I'd pick the hypo. That's, I would that's, too. That's my preference. Yep. I'd be down that path too. So sticking with the uh, Desert Ghost Project. This is a lesser inchy desert ghost double head hypo clown. And the fact that this is a double head for hypo and clown. I was going to say, uh, that's a huge powerhouse animal yeah. right there. And I, I, will, mean, I will have some of these at Tenley with me as well. Yeah, that's going to be someone's uh, dream project right there, working with this animal. That's a powerhouse for sure. So this is a black pastel fire confusion that is double head albino clown. This is, you know, you like your black pastel. Yes, I do. So this is black pastel firefly confusion double head albino clown but i like that silver design and just that silver coloration on this guy is really pretty i don't know it's just a very like cryptic looking pattern yep. into this guy so this is the albino confusion clown and then this one staying balled up is the black pastel albino confusion so this i believe is a fire inchy confusion clown wow and that head pattern just screams it keeps that con a busy confusion pattern yep. but you know you can see the reducedness due to the inchy and then the fire lightening everything up. So this is an exanthic clown. So the, obviously the exanthic takes out the yellow, mm -hmm. giving that nice black and white gray combo. Very cool. And then this one is a lesser exanthic clown. Wow. So the RGI proved that uh, lesser and butter are the same thing. Yep. So call it what you want. 
But uh, that is a lesser exanthic clown. And truthfully, too, we were just talking about like how pastel is kind of one of those genes that people kind of beat on. I think yep. also people beat on butter and lesser, too. Yep. But, I mean, proof is in the pudding again, guys. It's all dependent on what you put it in. And yep. this is truly a treat for sure. Yep. Very pretty. Two amazing animals. Yep. So if you're bashing it, it's only because you're putting in the wrong stuff. That's true. So this is another, you know, a couple simple genes. Yep. This is just lesser, orange dream, inchy, blade, clown so your orange dream is you're brightening it up the lesser is yep. giving it the color yep. the blades reducing the pattern the inches reducing the pattern yep you know it's just night the orange dream brighten it up it's just amazing that is a real pretty animal right there see a pied what do we got here all right so going back to the dark side yep this is the exanthic pied wow so i, I deal with the vpi lines strain of, uh, of the xanthix you know, so, but uh, I love the low white pieds. I call them high pattern pieds. Yep, I agree. That's how I, I am. Too. I want to see more pattern mm -hmm. than anything. You know, just even even if she's got one little spot, it'll, yep. it'll mess the pattern up dramatically, which is what I like. Oh man, that's beautiful. So again, not not a lot of fancy jeans, but it makes it look pretty. So this is a lesser leopard, fire or vanilla, head clown. Just incredible. Oh my gosh, and the striping is just really complements the look to this animal for sure. I tell you what, coming here, I'm like a kid in the candy store and it's been so long. And I've, I've been saying for years, I've been wanting to come back here ever since you got the new part of the facility opening up and just seeing all that has progressed and evolved here from over the years of coming here, it's truly remarkable what you've done here, John. You walk in, it's truly living art, whatever drawer you open up, so. I appreciate that. Yeah, I commend you, man. This is awesome, and years worth of labor and love, for sure. Yeah, guys, like I said, he's got a whole bunch of beautiful animals that he is bringing to Tinley, a whole bunch of babies, boas, ball pythons. You said you're gonna bring hundreds, you know? I'll, so, I'll have a couple hundred with me. Yeah, that's going to be huge, guys. So definitely stop by his booth, Big John Charsmer logo. I will put the booth number in this video as well, too, so definitely go check him out, guys, for sure. Go check him out, go check Ellen out, his wife as well, too. They'll all be there working the show you don't want to miss it definitely pick up an animal from john chosmer at the tinley show and even from other shows too what other shows do you guys work with you guys run the cincy show so. i run the cincinnati show the Sin City reptile show i'm there every month i do the kentucky reptile expo in lexington uh, every other month and other shows are hit and miss with my schedule people also want to inquire about these animals before tinley or after tinley or just in general where can they reach you john they can follow me on instagram i'm on instagram at jay chalsmer uh, facebook my name and my business name which is john chalsmer reptiles email is out there as well my phone number is out there and you, you put my name in there you're gonna it's gonna come up so definitely go reach out to them guys because there is a whole bunch of cool stuff here that i want you guys to jump on before it's gone and let me know down in the comments as well too which animal from today's video was your personal favorite that you would personally want to pick up i want to hear that down below but as always john thank you so much i Good appreciate time, this this has been a great tour for sure and if you guys could do me a few favors like i said all of john's links are going to be in the description below definitely come and say hi to him if you guys are attending tinley as well too he's going to be there so go show him some love and tell him that i sent you as well thank you guys so much again for watching today's video if you guys could do me a few favors if you could like the video subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it as well as hit that notification bell so you know when i upload definitely check us out on our social media as well too i'll be posting so many cool things from today as well there so definitely check us out there as well as always guys i appreciate you guys if you're going to tinley i will see you in a week and until next time i will see you guys soon take care yeah.